How's it going everyone? Today's topic will be K1 Communion Master Law Sector. We're dealing with Barrier Champions and Overload Champions. We're running this as an Arc Hunter. If you want to know where the uh, Law Sector is, it is currently located here on the map, which is on the moon. You could find this by the indicator of the Law Sector symbol here. So what you do is go to this location. If you've never ran it before, go ahead through the entrance, which will be located back here on the left. Go right through there, complete the Law Sector, and then you can come back out and run it on your Legend or Master difficulty. So let's go over the build. We do have a threat of solar this week, or today, sorry. So the boss is going to do solar damage. I recommend there is some arc damage, some solar damage. I'd recommend running a little bit of both if you wanted. Instead of doing an arc reserve here, you can always run a second uh, arc resistance or solar resistance, whatever your preference, uh, as you will have a kind of variety of the two. And the boss does hurt and kind of it's kind of hard to get to the boss in certain areas. So if you can, uh, run a little bit of solar resistance this time, help you out. If you want arc reserves, you can, uh, where you can run do uh, double arc or you can run double fire. Um, I'm gonna do double solar with uh, arc resist here just to, to make it a little more durable. So as we're gonna be in people's faces with this build. So to start with our mods, everything's gonna be all about melee, 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 melee. Everything's about getting up, up and personal, okay? We're using Liar's Handshake. So it means every time you melee, using our combination blow, it gives us health. So as long if you're ever in a dangerous situation, punch, 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 dodge, punch, punch, punch all day, it'll keep you alive, okay? So as long as you're, as long as you're using your combination blow or a melee, you're gonna be doing extra damage and you're gonna be healing. So just keep yourself alive with that. that and then also, as you're getting kills, you'll get more super ener uh, synergy up, which will help out a lot for the overloads. As in certain situations, you'll have two of them stacked up together or you'll have barriers in weird spots. Uh, so it may be kind of uh, annoying with their positioning. So for this run, you can run the uh, Wish Ender if you wanted. Uh, you can also run a Arbalist. Um, it's all the preference. So if you want to run an Arbalist, run an Arbalist. So you can run either one of these. Or if you wanted, you can always run Centrifuge. Centrifuge is always a good option uh, with pairing this up with the Riptide. Uh, if you wanted to take care of overloads with Riptide or using your class, most of the time uh, your class will take care of all the overloads. Um, so, you know, whatever your overload focus weapon is, you can kind of put it to whatever you want. Um, so if you want to run anti-barrier, I would run Centrifuge or Wish Ender or Arbalist. I think my three choices. Uh, it's all about preference. You kind of need, um, kind of need something that's going to be consistent for you. Uh, you won't really be using your primary weapon or, uh, or I would say Arbalist very often. So you can run double special here and do very well. But again, it's all up to preference, all of the style. The Master Law Sectors, I always say, are, uh, up to, like you could, you play better with what you're comfortable with. So make sure you're uh, picking a style that you like. So I always choose weapons to focus uh, rather than changing my grenades or anything up to focus on taking care of the champions. So my wish ender will do the barrier and then my uh, trace rifle will take care of overload. The trace rifle, uh, you can do this as anything you want uh, today. Uh, it, well, for the next few days, actually. Zura currently has this weapon. It, the perks aren't the best, but you want the trace rifle. This thing is amazing, even with the perks being, perks being awful. Uh, but pick it up from Zur. You can't get this unless you've got it from Season 19. Uh, so this is an amazing weapon. If you want to buy five, use your Deep Sight Resonance. Craft one. You can get Volt Shot and Shoot to Loot. It's just amazing if you can craft this thing. Uh, put a Minor Spec on it, and this thing's just going to wreck all the red bars for you and then help you with overloads. So nice pickup. Definitely grab it today. Everyone seems to be picking this thing up. So it's a great, definitely a good addition to your uh, kit. For your Heavy, you can run uh, Trace Rifle. You can run Rocket Launcher. You can run machine gun, whatever your preference is going to be. Uh, I'm going to try running the rocket launcher here. I tend to sometimes blow myself up, so because uh, <laughs> I just hit myself against the wall. So um, I'm trying different perks out. So field prep con cartridges probably aren't the best combination, but it's going to give you a ton of ammo economy, uh, which I like to have as much ammo as I can in these lost sectors. So um, if I'm not having, if I'm not running any ammo finders, um, having the field prep and cloud cartridge may. Uh, help me out with having more ammo and then having two in the chamber so I can always uh, you know, get myself out of a sticky situation. But for the build, we're running uh, Gathering Storm here. You can actually, this week with how close everything is, you can run Arc Staff if you like it. It's all up to preference. I like just doing Gathering Storm because I can just throw it out, jolt everything, it helps me with overloads, and I can just you know get myself out of bad situations. The main build focus is Gambler's Dodge. It, what it does is whenever you uh, whenever you don't have your melee up, you can dodge near, dodge near a target and then it'll give your melee back. So as we're mainly focusing on our damage here with Combination Blow, we want to make sure our melee is up all the time. So we're going to keep melee, melee, meleeing. I keep getting killed by something. It's a combination here. There we go. So you dodge and then punch. That was that was a great live example. <laughs> that was convenient. Um, so we'll get back to the button. So uh, yeah, Combination Blow, it'll, give you, it'll restore health, give you class ability. Oh my gosh. These things are just all up on me. Apologize for that. 
Uh, so combination blow to restore health. It'll pair up really well with your liar's dice. Um, liar's dice. Liar's handshake. <laughs> Sorry. Liar's handshake melee. Uh, and then you could cycle these back and forth. The pulse grenade is what I'd recommend as your grenade. I wouldn't recommend switching this out to anything blinding or anything else. I would just run pulse grenade so you can pair it up really well with the spark of shock and the spark of magnitude. So these two will be around to help get, take your overloads if you don't have your ult, you don't have your melee, that kind of thing. And then as you're jolting, you get ionic traces. And then when you're in close combat, you can use spark of resistance. Uh, you can also change spark resistance out if you wanted for um, the spark of feedback just to increase your melee damage. I'd recommend survivability over more damage as uh, you want. If you're going for flawless, you don't want to be uh, risking anything. So you want to play it safe. So use lethal current flow state. They're the only two ones for PVE. They'll match up really well with the uh, melees, allowing you to jolt targets and such. So uh, you definitely want these these combined together. So that way you can be amplified at all times and then jolt targets all the time. So let's go and get into it. Oh, the wrong button. Let's go and get into it, and then uh, we'll knock this out real real smooth. You can run linears as it is overcharged, um, so definitely if you have one, match it to your subclass. Definitely use it. But I, as again, I always appreciate everyone's like and uh, like and comments uh, and subscriptions. You guys are doing awesome, so keep it up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off here. You're gonna have two mobs in the uh, front here. We're, and you're also gonna have uh, the overload to the right. So whenever you're ready, you wanna go over there and take care of him. You could focus red bars first. There's no rush to kill anything. You have your primary if you're running a, a wish ender. If you're running a centrifuge, you definitely have your primary to wreck all, with auto rifle. So take out all the red bars. Um, then put yourself, whenever you're ready, go down to there to the bottom. If you wait too long, which is all I'm gonna do here intentionally is uh, you're going to have a barrier active and an overload. So you want to make sure you pair up, like take out everything that's in a bad spot. Focus on the barrier, not the overload. Once you get the barrier to a good spot, then you can uh, you can go ahead and take care of the barrier here. I'm going to go ahead and rocket him down. Come on, do your barrier. There you are. Just going to blow it up. Boom. Perfect. Now I just have the overload to take care of, and the door won't open until I take care of it. So I'm just gonna stun him, get myself in a position where I wanna be. Keep him stunned so he doesn't go anywhere, because now he can't move, and then we're just gonna punch him in the face. He's gonna do arc damage, which is where your arc resist is from, and then the boss is gonna do the main fire damage. So as long as you have one of each, you'll be in a good spot, pick up all the ammo you use, whatever you need, and then move on. Just melee everyone in the face. It's gonna be easy dodge whenever you don't have a melee. And then you just punch, 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 and everything will open up. You're gonna have an overload down the bottom. Focus everything far first, then get on the overload. Like, don't put yourself in a bad situation. If you're not ready for the overload, don't take the overload. And whenever you are ready for the overload, come down here, punch, punch, punch. And we'll be in a good spot. So you're doing like like 6k per hit. So you're going to do a lot more damage to any of your weapons. Um, as, along with saving ammo if you're running double special. So focus on the barrier. If you're overloaded, you can do, you can probably get two shots off. If you're not overloaded, you can probably only get one. And then what you're going to do is you're going to have a bunch of threat. Oh, wait, a bunch of threat. You're going to have a bunch of mobs at the top. And then you're going to have some mobs on the left. The left ones are kind of the most annoying. Um, as they kind of get, they, no matter what position you're in, they seem to come find you. So, try to take them out early. And then, when you can, come over here, dodge, punch one, and they all die. Yeah, so it's easy. Boom! Keep punching, 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 dodge, punch. You're going to have one more barrier show up. And then you're going to need, so you, you can either, I would recommend probably you can super this one, or I would wait, um... For the double overload which is coming up next as that's going to be the most that's the most be the most dangerous thing so we're gonna dodge we're gonna punch we're gonna dodge we're gonna punch and then we're gonna make sure we don't let the barrier heal we don't want the barrier healing that's our priority here so everything else can die whenever you want uh we just can't let the barrier heal so we just make sure we keep him in a good spot he's gonna do his little animation in a second there it is uh, i'm not gonna waste my ammo here gonna punch 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 you can shoot the bombs or punch the bombs i would just make sure that when they go off you're ready for them don't just get stuck in one of those cones 
especially near the end here. That's a really, really just Especially in here, you're gonna have the you have double overload. So this is where the threat is gonna be. Uh, if you don't have your super available, then you're gonna be in a tough spot. So if you're not running hands on or you're not running ashes assets, uh, you may be taking some damage. So you want to make sure you're ready for these two. So one's gonna hop in. One's gonna hop in here. I'm gonna go and super him. I don't want him taken care of. And the other one's outside. There you are. <laughs> Little unicorn going on. It's funny. Keep him stunned so he doesn't heal. We're gonna rock it. Rock it twice, and then he's done. Easy peasy. There we go. Dodge. Punch. Punch. Dodge. Punch. Grenade, like, just ability spam with this thing up. That's why we're running high resistance, high, or high resilience, high uh, discipline. So we have everything up at all times, and we don't take as much damage. Okay, this guy's here. Punch, punch, punch. As long as we're punching, we're good. We notice the bomb's going up there, so it's either we, either we destroy it, or we focus the um, overload. I'm going to focus the overload and let it go off, because I don't want to be in there. But you don't want to be stuck in that slow as it really can punish you. Go up this heavy ammo. And then you have an overload up top and you're gonna have oh, a few mobs downstairs. Take the ones downstairs first and then focus the overload. Boss won't spawn until you have everything taken out. So there's no rush on anything. So let's just make sure we're taking out red bars. Stunning. Perfect, and we're gonna come over here and just punch, punch, punch. Gotta prioritize the bombs. The bombs are irritating. We just punch, punch, punch. If you don't have this uh, exotic, it's okay. You can you, you can use your weapons. That's why we have the, the weapons set up to take care of all the champions. And if you have your uh, wish ender, you can do everything with the wish ender, right? Or a centerfuge. You can just sit back here, take everything out. You can play it a lot more safe. I just like the liar's handshake because it gets you up, up front and personal and you can also just punch, punch, punch. It's kind of simple. It's just kind of, it makes it easy and you just feel like you're just invulnerable walking around. And then you can use finishers all the time. So puts you in a good spot. So the indicator when the boss is spawning is that. <laughs> so uh, you, there's no reason to go forward. He's going to spawn out. If you, if you go to super him at the door, he will sometimes uh, teleport and leave. So you want to make sure when you super him, you're set a good time, like when he's out here. Try not to hoot super him when he's not ready. And then you want to hit him with it because he likes to move around the room and you want that thing moving, right? You want the... Did he just fall off the edge? What the... Did you guys see that? Did he just fall off the edge? That was weird. Sorry about that. I swear he fell off the edge there. Please, let me, someone go back and look at that replay and let me know. Put in the comments below if he actually fell off the edge. Because it looked like he just kind of... He just took off. <laughs> he just died. Oh well. Um, okay, so back to the back to the uh, boss. We have a lot of us. Uh, rocket ammo up. Someone's trying to hit him in the head with it. Nice. See if he's going to move. Yeah, he's going to move. And then we're going to shoot him there. Missed it. So you're gonna have one more barrier. Again, if you're going for platinum, just get the get the barriers taken care of, and then focus the boss. No reason to rush anything. You have if you have a wish ender, you can sit back in the back. Just gonna rocket this one. Let's get him dead real quick. I was a little late on my rocket, so I'm not gonna shoot a second one because he's gonna put his shield up. That was what a position. What a positioning. What the? Can I not shoot them? That was weird. That was strange. Okay, there we go. We got that up there. We're going to grenade. We're just going to burn this down. As long as we're hiding, we're in a good spot. He's always going to go left. He's never going to come right. So as long as you keep moving around the opposite of where he's going, you're going to be in a good spot. So we're going to go down here. We're going to punch, 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 because I want to get my uh, hands-on activated for more ult charge. So I can just super him again. Come here. Boom. He's a unicorn. So we'll let him die. We don't have to do anything. We can just dance over here. Perfect. Play it safe. If you're going for flawless, you want to play it smart. 
Right? Don't rush in thinking everything's just going to be simple just because you're god mode. Right? Play it smart. Take it. If you need to take it slower for your flawless, you can. If you want to do speed runs, then you can play a little more risky, right? To get those little, get those half seconds taken off. So just take out the shanks. Once you kill the boss and every single champion, you can then go stop the clock. Right? There's no reason to. Uh, you don't have to kill every single red bar, but that's all you have to do. So all the lights came back on. Everything's good. Everything's cleared out. We got an eight minute run here. You can do this way faster than me. Um, so I uh, recommend <laughs> recommend putting any uh, uh, any recommendations putting in the comments below. Uh, like and subscribe always helps me out. Looking to grow the channel so I can uh, do a variety more things. You guys looking for interesting? Um, if you have any ideas or anything you're looking for as a certain questions? I can always make a video for it. Put them in the comments below. I do stream on Twitch.tv/EclipticPrime. And uh, as always, I hope you have a fantastic day.